Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a very quick comparison between Redmi 3S and the Coolpad Note 3 Lite. So let's see where each of these phones stand and where they outperform each other. These are the basic specifications of Coolpad and these are the specifications of Redmi 3S. Both the phones have pretty good build and design but if we are to compare them, Redmi 3S definitely makes a mark with complete unibody metal design which is commonly found in mid-range devices. So Redmi 3S is your better looking phone and you can also get it in gold color. Both the phones run on a heavily skinned version of Android. On Coolpad it's called as Cool UI, which is pretty good and responsive but has some bugs here and there. In Redmi, software UI is called as MIUI which is also very responsive and comes with a lot of customization. In terms of just software features, software experience, both are pretty much evenly matched but when it comes to regular software updates, Redmi is much better. You will definitely get continuous and timely updates on Redmi 3S for at least 2 to 3 years. The same can't be said for Coolpad. With MIUI 8, Redmi will be getting few additional features like secondary space, multi-window and dual apps which you will definitely be missing out on Coolpad. Redmi 3S already runs on top of Android Marshmallow. Coolpad Note 3 Lite will also get Android M update very soon. But that doesn't matter to both of these phones as you won't be able to see any difference. So in terms of software features, Redmi takes a upper hand on Coolpad Note 3 Lite. The same thing applies even to performance, gaming and cameras. So just to put it in the simplest terms, with Coolpad you will get pretty good plastic build phone with decent cameras, decent performance, decent processor with 3GB RAM and a fingerprint scanner. You won't be getting any other phones in this price range with a fingerprint scanner. So 3GB of RAM, fingerprint scanner and a dedicated SD card slot are the only advantages of buying a Coolpad Note 3 Lite. Besides that, Coolpad lacks gyroscope and has a small battery. With Redmi 3S, you will get an amazing metal build seen in mid-range devices. Next, you will get amazing performance. It is basically the best phone in terms of performance in this price range. Next, you will get better cameras. Yes, Coolpad has good cameras, but Redmi 3S has even better cameras than Coolpad. Most importantly, you will get a huge 4100mAh battery which can last you 2 days easily on normal usage. Besides these stuff, you also get an IR blaster to control your television, AC and so on. And also, it has all the basic sensors including gyroscope and compass. So if you are still not convinced, you can even get MI Protect for your Redmi phone and you don't have to worry about accidental damages. Fingerprint scanner is too tempting but it simply isn't worth missing out on other features Redmi 3S has to offer. And 3GB of RAM is definitely better than 2GB of RAM but you can cope up with it with better performance on Redmi. And these are the benchmark scores just for reference. So if it was my decision, I would definitely buy the Redmi 3S and just so you know, Coolpad after sale service is pretty bad. They literally took 2 months to fix my Coolpad Note 3. With that said, Xiaomi's after sale support isn't great either, but it's definitely better than Coolpad. The after sale support thing is based on my experience and some others might have good experience. So do a little research about the after sale support of both these devices before you make any final decision. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you do, hit that like button and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel. I'll catch up with you in my next video, until then, have a nice day.